Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great evening. Uh, when I get this posted, it'll be in the evening probably. We got Gabby and Gracie out there. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Digging holes and making messes? Huh? Everyone's been asking about you too. I'm telling you, they that's the story of their life right there. That's them. So I've been getting a lot of requests here uh, lately within like the last week and a half, two weeks about doing a German Shepherd uh, video. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the dogs. Um, I got to look in the shed. I've been looking for uh, my 30 round magazines. I had a bunch of them, um, the aluminum ones from when I was in the Marine Corps. Um, and I cannot find them so we're gonna take a look in the shed see if we can find them in there because that's the, like the last place they could be um, but I've had a, I had a video um, I guess you might say a viral video go um, go viral last year on the German Shepherds well it's picked up steam again I've got a lot of new subs so if you're coming over from that video thank you very much here's the update you guys been asking for um, and a lot of people have been watching them when Gracie was a little puppy um, so I don't show them all the time on the channel obviously because we're doing so many other other things so today it's basically going to be, I'm going to show you them, talk about German Shepherds, um, how they, <laughs> what are you all doing? Well, that's what happens when you play too rough. Um, but um, how they protect the homestead. Um, many, many times they've ran coyotes off by the uh, goat pen. And uh, we'll get into that here in just a little bit. And I'll show you them playing around and stuff like that. And uh, if I can answer any questions for you guys, leave some comments down below. Um, let's go over here in the shed, see if I can't find those mags I'm looking for. I'm just trying to get inventory of all my supplies um, because eventually we're going to be moving, but we don't want to take everything with us. So I'm getting the important things. I'm kind of just working my way, getting the important things set aside, um, take them over to our storage unit. That that way I know where they're at and uh, we have them on hand still as far as within access. So let's get in the shed and uh, see what we can find. No electric in here obviously, but I will try to open this other door if I can. Okay. We just got a bunch of our junk in here. Don't really show this part on the channel very much, um, but it's somewhat organized, you might say. Actually, been looking for those. These are some old Tim Snips my grandpa gave me. I got another pair too that I use all the time. We'll set those right there for now. Let's see. Well, speaking of mags, there's one right there. I actually had about 15 or 20 of those. So that's a good sign. That means they're in here somewhere. And uh, I don't know. There's nothing in there that's just out here but i just found a treasure <laughs> i don't know if there's anything in that or not let's see here oh yeah yep yeah, it's got some hopefully ammo i didn't know this is out here <laughs> uh okay yeah yeah yeah. These are, these are old these are still casings i have i don't really shoot these a whole lot but i guess for emergency reasons um you could i don't have no idea how these are I actually bought them, now I remember, I bought them a couple years ago. So they've probably been sitting right there for two years. So here's the magazines I've actually been looking for. You know, we'll take, go in the house and I'll show you some of the newer ones I got compared to these older ones. We actually use these over in Iraq. Um, but I'm going to put the camera down for a minute. I'm going to pull some of this stuff out and see if I can't find the rest of these. Like I said, I had like 15 or 20 of them. Um, I don't know where they're at. There's one. But one's better than none, I guess. So let's take a look in here. Not what I'm looking for. There's my old copper cup. So I used to buy um, silver off of eBay years ago. And here's some of the stuff I got that I got pretty cheap. And I don't know exactly what kind of silver. Anything that was silver, I was just buying up. This doesn't really have any marks on it. Glass Stonebury plate, 800. You guys know anything about this stuff? I just thought they were cool, like medieval. <laughs> Old serving tray. So I just used to buy 
buy this stuff and just sits in here. I do remember this old piece. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take this to storage. Someone will jump in my jump in here and get it. But I remember this being a, uh, I got this pretty good price and I looked it up and it was worth a few hundred bucks. Uh, if you guys want to look it up, you can. It is got a broken leg on it though. I got the leg. That's what that is. Some of you guys may know a little bit about this stuff. Uh, if you know the value of this, I need to look this up again. It's been several years. But yeah, I was kind of like kind of into getting stuff like this. Anyways, that's a rabbit trail. My old Marine Corps sleeping bag. Need those. I actually find some stuff I need. Well, one magazine. Hey babe. We don't know. What are you doing? We didn't know where you were. <laughs> Was I hiding from you? Yeah. Look at him. You let Lily out? Yeah. Okay. What they do? That's all they do. Won't you all go do something productive, huh? You want to go set this in the garage for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's heavy. You got it? Yeah. Okay, here, put that with it. Thank you. All right. Well, I found one mag and some bullets, so that'll work. So, all right, let's get into talking a little bit about the German Shepherd. This isn't going to be a real long video, just a video to please all the new subscribers, I guess, because um, y'all have been look, asking for updates. You may just you just subscribed to me from the older video and maybe you just seen gracie as a pup and now she is not as big as her mom but she's she's right up there gabby's about 80 85 pounds and gracie's right at 70 pounds on huh, gracie but uh anyways lily so anytime the camera's on uh these dogs want to be right up in your face so the, so the german shepherd breed is she's by far the best dog i've ever had aren't you gabby gracie she's like a little firecracker she's she's a puppy still i think about two years old she'll grow out of the stages of let's get into everything and let's jump on mom 24 7 because that's literally all she does and gabby has the best patience i've ever seen with another another dog before in my life because she just puts up with a bunch uh, from her daughter so gabby and grace gabby and grace are both full blood gabby is the the mother of gracie um gabby has her papers um, but the the male the stud that we bred her to they never sent her papers off but he was a full blood and we never got her registered so it's not a big deal it's just paperwork but you could tell they look identical and uh so let me walk up here for a second hold on a second hadley wants to ride the goat cart so i'm gonna go start it for her you gonna ride the old one one reason why I like living out here um, in the open land that we got now because the girls can just ride their goat carts anywhere they want to go uh, when we move to the off-grid property we're gonna have to cut some trails and stuff like that but um, it's just kind of convenient now they got uh, they got two of them Hadley just absolutely loves riding there to like it but Hadley just takes it a step further and just really enjoys it so to answer some of the questions uh, one of the most common questions is is Gracie from the litter of pups that Gabby just had and yes she is that's Gabby's daughter like I said earlier so hope that answers that question and they asked if they're full but I answered that already um, some of the other ones have we seen because we had we got a video out it's called like the, the German Shepherd stops black creature. Um, they actually, the uh, we had a black she uh, a black like greyhound slash wolf dog um, chase the kids a year and a half, two years ago around over here around the pond. And it, it looked I say greyhound because it was skinny like a greyhound, but it was pitch black. It was dark, 
and it caught up it was the weirdest dang thing um we're there right over there on my uncle's land the girls were broke down over here that's what it was they were broke down over there or it died they turned off something well i seen the black um dog thing run from over here by the road all the way well they never seen it they never seen this thing they're around that same goat cart right there they never seen it but my my uh dog gabby was out here drummer shepherd guard dog was out here because she always hangs out with them she's just within viewing distance of the girls that's what's so awesome about these german shepherd breed i'm sure there's a lot of other dogs out there that do the same thing but always she's always within distance well she actually this is what's crazy she saw the dog running and she just takes off and goes straight through the tree line over there and tries to cut it off but the, by that time the girls had already had it started and they were going around the pond and, and i lost a visual of the german shepherd gabby the black dog and the girls so we're i'm like oh my gosh though so by this point i'm running this way they the girls come out well this dog creature is running right behind them <clears throat> excuse me is running right behind them and catching them quick well here comes gabby the girls turn this way i'm pretty sure the girls never even seen the seen the thing <clears throat> so gabby continues to chase it this time it looks back or whatever and sees gabby and it just freaking floors it and goes off into the woods goes right off into the woods and Gab it just left gabby in the dust and gabby used to be really really fast that was two years ago she's um she's gained a little weight since then she's not as quick um but if any dog could have caught it, i thought gabby would have got it she tried her hardest so after that so anyway so that's about the whole german shepherd breed she's the best guard dog slash dog i've ever had in my life and that's the whole reason why <clears throat> we kept gracie she, Gracie's looking at me. The reason why we kept Gracie is because we wanted that bloodline. We wanted Gabby to train this dog also, to train um, Gracie. And, and Gabby is self-trained protectors, just bred in them. Um, now, we've worked with Gabby, you know, as far as basic commands and stuff. But as far as being around animals and children and, and, uh, that she knows, she's she's awesome with them. Um, like I said, she's self-trained, just protector. She'll be, they'll be swinging on the swings. She'll be laying right there. So that's why we kept, that's why we kept Gracie because Gabby's six years old. She'll be seven next, yeah, she'll be pushing seven. And uh, so Gracie just, I think Gracie's gonna be turning two here here pretty soon. Um, so, and we're hoping within that stage, she starts to calm down, starts to get, um, she's learned a lot. She's learned an absolute lot, especially, so all the time, what's up? So anyways, Gracie has really learned a lot from Gabby. So, I mean, it's almost, I won't say daily, but weekly, uh, weekly, if not, you know, three, probably three to five times a month they'll be we'll hear the coyotes um just going crazy and they're not always right here a lot of times they may be in, on my neighbor's place by the by the lake or they'll even be in the back of the back of the um of the land right there but if you can hear them that means they're close enough to be a, a threat and danger and there's been many times like i said maybe four or five times a month that gabby just freaks out so gabby sleeps in the house she got her bed gracie has a bed too but gracie sleeps in a crate at night because we just we just don't trust gracie yet uh, she's got to grow out of that out of that stead you guys know what i mean so she sleeps in her big crate at night and then during the day she runs around in the house and outside and does her thing um but gabby just roams she's the protector and gabby at, will freak out and i'll show some footage of her I'll go ahead and show some footage of her right now. Freaking both of them kind of. I knocked on the door and uh, I'll, I'll film it for you guys so you can see how, how they react. So I'll show that to you real quick. So you've seen it that's how they react to things well they can hear them coyotes well before we can um so probably last time it happens probably about 10 days ago um gabby starts freaking out and it's like two in the morning and i was like there's something outside I hope and it's always one of the things i hope it's not something in the goat pen um so we i get up get my light flashlight shine out there i don't see them but i can just hear them going crazy so i'll let gracie out gabby great gabby and gracie both out at the same time and they just whoo, go straight out there and they'll go they'll protect the perimeter they'll go to the perimeter fence and they just bark like crazy and chase things off gabby's actually uh chased coyotes off um several different times i actually have one on, on footage i ended up taking a shot at years ago uh, she's chased them in here and the thing about them coyotes are really tricky um, i've only ever seen like one up close in the yard but then when she chased them off into into the woods we see i see multiple ones so it's like they they, they lure them in 
so they could the pack can attack them um, so having Gracie here um, it's a big advantage for the homestead we have two guard dogs now instead of just one and she won't go into a fight alone um, there's been one I think one instance where she actually chased them off and I heard the coyote yelp and then I heard Gabby yelp so they kind of got into it for a little bit Gabby came back she was fine so when that happened, that was that was a long time ago. That was when we lived in the pole barn still. Uh, that that's the last time she really got into it as far as like a fight. And uh, so that's a good thing. She's kind of kept the predators at bay. Um, she's came up with possums and stuff in her mouth that she has caught at the chicken coop. She's just an overall great dog. We had a lot of comments, people asking us why we don't have a great Pyrenees uh, a livestock guardian dog. Well, living right here. It, it, it's not a bad idea to get one it's just that we already have so many dogs and Gabby has done such a great dog protecting them even though she's not out there with them 24 7 she's done an awesome job securing the homestead so I just never really never lost one we've been out here seven eight years and never lost an animal out in the field now we've had some come up missing um, we had a little lamb that come up missing they got out we don't know what happened to it I assume something got it out in the woods um, but we just don't know but as far as Waking up in the morning and seeing dead goats or dead sheep out there, that's never happened. We've never had that happen. Uh, cross our fingers, it doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the reason why, because we've always had Gabby pretty much the whole time we've been out here with animals, and she's done she's done a great job. Uh, my friend Kevin has a livestock guardian dog. He actually sleeps on the front porch, um, I think, most most of the time. And, but it's it's there. They hear things. These dogs hear things. So it's not it's kind of like Gabby sleeping on the front porch. She sleeps right next, right. she sleeps right there in the living room. She hears everything um, so that's kind of the way i look at it and if when we move out to the off-grid property have the goats and stuff probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get one and just leave it out there that's, so that's one of the major mistakes that people make when they get guard dogs um, from my experience is they try to befriend them to everyone uh, where we did with gabby i never took gabby off the homestead for like several years um, she had to go to the vet a few times other than that she did not interact with anyone other than uh, our family my brother and um, our my in-laws that was it um, so when a stranger came she just instinctively just knew what to do and i think that was that was a really good call on my part um to do that because we got her solely for a guard dog um and obviously she's an awesome family dog too but guard dog was the main purpose of moving out here in the country you know i was i'd be working out of town we i wanted another layer of security oh anyways if we do get a, a livestock guardian dog we will keep it in the pen with the goats we will not interact with it with other people um, we'll feed it and that's it there's no playing with it so yeah that's one of the mistakes people make they try to they try to make their their guard dog and their livestock guardian dog just friendly to everyone i don't I, I wouldn't recommend that at all just like if you get a new if i get a new livestock guardian dog i'm not gonna let the girls just sit there and play with it and and play fetch with it and walk it around on a leash and do all that no it's gonna be stuck out there it's gonna be with the goats and the animals are gonna do its job that's why it serves a purpose on the homestead now that doesn't mean the girls can't go out and feed it and pet it but you guys know what i mean it's not gonna be like um, Gracie and Gabby and Lily um, as part inside the house living with us and all that stuff I think you guys understand that um, let's go let's go take a look at them before I get off here that's enough rambling on but I hope to answer some of y'all's questions um, about um, our German Shepherd guard dogs and and if you guys are on the fence about getting a German Shepherd I will tell you this the, the worst thing about German Shepherds that I've come across is they shed a lot they shed like crazy um, so the best thing that we've ever got was one of those little robot vacuums because it just goes around and gets all their hair and we don't let the dogs up on the on the beds or um, in the bedrooms on the carpet or on our furniture they they strictly stay um, on the tile floor and that makes it a lot easier on cleanup but come here come here come here Gabby come on Gracie what are you doing come on, Gabby I don't think Gracie ever runs out of energy it's the craziest thing I've ever seen <laughs> get her gabby i'll get in trouble from you guys if i don't show you a being so close what's up babe <whistles> <Woo! laughs> well you can see if you guys watched the last video they have scratched and i need to get in there and clean that water out dang it and the electric fence on but you can see that they have scratched all this straw all over the place and i knew that's what they do someone said just grab a flake of it and just throw it out there and they'll scratch it for you there you go so i'm perfectly fine with all that being all over the place it keeps down on the poop and the mud you know that's actually a good thing let me turn this electric fence off and clean the water out
Okay, Abe. Tell them bye. Tell them bye-bye. Let's go ahead and put that water up on the taller one. They'll probably still I'll probably come out here and clean it out tomorrow. What's up? Let's see what we got in here today. Oh, we got a hen. Hope she's not growing broody. Let's see in here. She might be. There's one in there. I'm going to sit over here for Hope. Hope wants to come get them. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's one. One, two, three. Look how much cleaner they are, too, being on this. So, I'm going to have to start using straw instead of using the, the shavings. Awesome. I opened this last night come check on them. And we had we had like four up here, two over here, the turkeys over there, and still had a couple in there. Um, which before before I put that one up, there would be like one on here. So they're starting to use it. We'll give them a few more days and see if they see if they'll stay out of there. Quit from pooping. But yeah. What? This one always gets out. I need to clip it to wings. Okay, that's all I got for you guys today. Probably not a long video at all. Just me talking about the dogs. Want to answer some questions. And like I said earlier, if you come over from the mother videos, thank you so much. And I hope you guys en enjoy the rest of the channel. Uh, not just the guard dogs. Um, we do still have them. Um, but we just, we just don't make a lot of guard dog videos now if something exciting happens um, I'll try to film it for you next time I'll make it I'll make it a point to keep my camera out on the counter so the next time the coyotes come around I can at least get the dog's reaction chasing them hopefully saving the herd again um, so that's just part of living out in the country is you got to be prepared um, for those things and uh, the guard dogs are a great addition to the homestead so like I, I was trying to say earlier if you guys are on the fence of getting German Shepherd I'm telling you they're awesome awesome dogs they're everything that you probably want out of a guard dog in my um, my experience and we've had get uh, Gracie Gabby six years and Gracie going on two years I think around there I could have my numbers off a little bit but you guys we've had it for a little while but that's all I got for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe I think you guys will enjoy what we got going on um, we got to get over to the off-grid property uh, soon and get the the roof finish I went and bought the ridge cap to uh, finish that out and then we can start working on the inside so that's gonna be exciting hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching love you guys and uh, we'll catch you on next video